Today's contemporary craft market is so fluid that what the curators decided to do this time was to create these seven archetypes of objecthood as a way to categorize all of today's craft in the United States. This room is called the Truthsayers Room, and Truthsayers are very much according to our curators, the traditionalists who are in the exhibition. They are throwing clay, they are carving out of stone. It's very traditional in terms of their technique. This category that we're in, in this room, which is the beta testers. And beta testers are basically constantly pushing the boundaries of what is real, what is not real, and using technology to sort of inform their craft making skills. We're in the doomsdayer category. However, the term doomsdayer here isn't necessarily dystopian in terms of each artist's um, outlook. I'm quoting liberally from the curators here when I'm saying, for these artists, chaos is not the end, but a portal to the new beginning. This is the insiders category. It's, it's really more about domesticity and it's about artists who are using domestic objects uh, to make a larger, like broader social statement. Styles as well as history of the past and they incorporate that into their work. When we talk about this code breaking term, I think in many cases they're referring to um, the history of design and sort of switching back and forth between time periods and styles. Katie Stout really built her career in ceramic, whereas she was always sort of grouped in along with some of her fellow RISD graduates like her best friend Misha Khan um, into this sort of idea of, of, of sloppiness, of spontaneity. Um, Katie's always been known to work on her pieces like right up to and including like the opening day of the show itself. 